I'm alive. I'm alive, guys, and uh, we had to kind of cut short the, the drone footage that I was taking on our way back from the, the hiking because, well, something happened. And uh, I crashed the drone, okay? Um, it happened, I crashed the drone, and uh, let me tell you exactly what happened. So, the DJI Mavic Air has a option, a cinematic option, okay? So, when you put that cinematic option, it goes very slowly, very cinematic, it doesn't react fast. That's the key thing right there, it does not react fast. So, I was making, taking a cool shot, and uh, when I realized that the drone was getting too close to one of the rocks, the huge, huge rocks over there, and uh, I tried to take it back, but it was already too late, and uh, it crashed, it crashed against uh, the rocks and uh, it just stuck there, okay, it didn't fall, it stuck there. So uh, actually, uh, I mean, I wanted to see where it landed and if it was possible for me to recover it. So I went and look, took a look and I actually found the drone, but the problem was that it is stuck on like on a cliff. So uh, to get down there, I mean, it's very, very dangerous to go down there and I would recommend anyone to do that. But uh, you know, I wanted to get my drone back and uh, I have uh, an insurance on it. So if I get it back, I do get a new drone. But uh, that's not the point. <laughs> the point is that I actually saw it. So there was a chance, you know, for me to, to go and pick up the drone. And uh, I actually went and it was very scary and very, very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. I'm stressing that because it's my it's probably one of the most interesting things I've ever done in my life. Every, any sudden move and any wrong move could have ended very badly, okay? But uh, I started descending and I felt like I had a good grip, grip on the sides of the rocks. In any case, that one of the rocks, uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> came loose. You know, I was still able to hold myself self on the sides of the rocks. So in the end, I was able to get down, and when you were down there, it was not that dangerous anymore. I mean, you had plenty of, of room to stand on. So I was able to grab the drone, and uh, the problem was climbing back up, because, I mean, it's very difficult, and you, I mean, you have places to grab onto, but it's still a very challenging, I mean, climb up. So I was just putting the drone on some of the rocks and trying to climb up and holding as hard as I can and as tight as I can and, and putting the drone back up and holding again and uh, meanwhile this one was <laughs> was waiting for me upstairs I mean and she was very scared. Were you scared? Yeah obviously. I was asking him if he was alright so I was Please. like asking are you okay or okay? And at first when he went down he was answering and then it was just radio silence. I mean, what would you think? I did I did vlog a bit when you were yeah? there, yeah. No, you're kidding. I told them you were gonna die. No! <laughs> I haven't watched the footage yet. Um, the drone just crashed and Johan is right below there trying to get it back. Will he make it? I don't know. Hey, are you guys seeing him? I don't know. Somewhere way down there is where the drone is. Please give this video like some <laughs> because this is why he did it. This is why I might not have a boyfriend anymore. So yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen that footage yet guys, but uh, I mean, uh, I'm gonna watch it and probably anything that she told you was true. <laughs> it was very scary, I was yelling at her, you know, I'm okay, I'm okay, but she, she wasn't listening, uh, hearing me. But uh, I, I was telling her, I'm fine, okay, I'm coming up, I'm coming up, I'm fine, stay where you are, because she, and if she tried to help me, it would become a lot more, you know, dangerous. So in the end, I was able to climb back up without looking down and just focusing on grabbing as hard as I can on, and on the rocks that were, I mean, kind of secure. And uh, let me show you the damage. I mean, it was a pretty risky thing to do, but uh, let me show you the damage. So as you can see right there, bam. Ah, oh, right there. Over here, bam, we're missing a piece of the propeller. 
as you guys can see the propellers are all messed up there over there some dirt and actually I think the gimbal itself got some damage also my freaking and the filter man they are brand new I just recently got them man come on some damage over there if you guys can see on the white again right over there there's probably where it hit the rocks all in all it is pretty messed up okay and uh, I think I'm going to I have insurance so uh, I think I'm gonna take it back uh, send them back to, to DJI and uh, let them uh, take a look at it and replace it because uh, my insurance actually lets me replace the drone you know if, if there if any damage uh, occurs I mean I didn't want to, to fly the drone again because I was a bit scared we were all uh, both of us very scared you know after that and we just wanted to go home so I didn't dare to try and take some more shots because uh, I mean, the situation was a very scary one so uh, but now we're home safe and sound and drone is safe back is back <laughs> is back home and uh, we are also safe and uh, that's a very important thing but probably I can't say I won't do it again. I mean, I would assess the situation, and if today's situation wasn't really a thing that I should have done, but I did it anyways. I think it's because you saw it. If you didn't yes. see it, you wouldn't have attempted it. And I, I saw it. I saw where it was, and I saw that there was a chance. If I was very, very careful, it was a chance that I could go down, get it, and I was probably the most scared uh, of climbing back up that was the scariest because if I would have been able if I wouldn't been able to climb up then uh, I don't know what I've done I would have done I mean what helicopter or something like that I don't know there wasn't any way other way so uh, that was the scariest part I think just really climbing back up and, uh, and also going down because <laughs> on my way down as I said one of the rocks even came loose so uh, and it was also like a bit watery there was a lot of some water running over there. Yeah. I think uh, the important thing is that you don't skip triceps. <laughs> that's why you gotta lift, okay? <laughs> okay, for situations like that. But uh, we're gonna uh, rest. I'm gonna put all the footage onto my computer, charge some batteries, and uh, after that, I think we're, we're gonna have uh, some pizza. Yeah, and some ice cream. Your booty gains are showing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> some pizza and some ice cream. All right, I owe her like two to three ice creams because of this situation. All right, guys, but uh, I'm fine, okay? But uh, I'll see you guys. Uh... Hi, right, guys, finishing up the night here in our room. The last. Here, man, uh, we had some okay pizza at Pizza Hut. <laughs> I mean, we're full after that, but it was, it was okay. It was nothing, nothing special. And after that, we we went and, and just walked around the town. There wasn't pretty really that much to see. I mean, we saw everything already. I think. And funny thing, we also know the people that sell uh, weed over here. We know all of them because <laughs> every time we walk around the city they ask us smoke 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 so we know all of them okay they're in a group and we know all of them <laughs> but uh yeah man tomorrow i think uh, we have to leave the airbnb at 11 o'clock and after that uh, yeah we're out of here and we're going to albufeira i think we're gonna go to the beach first and then uh, I also need to buy some propellers for my drone, man. Ah, today was a very, very exhausting and uh, dangerous day. But Have was... you thought of a name yet for a drone? No. Let me know in the comments down below. What should <laughs> I name my drone? I don't have a name for. Uh, I don't have a name for it. So it would be fun to, to give it a name. Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> but but anyways, guys. 
uh, that's gonna be it for this video remember as always that I'm a certified personal trainer so if you're looking for online personal training meal plans or workout routines let me know on embeddedbodies.com right but that being said guys I'm gonna finish off the video right here so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like on this video and let me know what you think of it in the comments down below right so let's see you soon later guys